All right, man, Torchy Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock show. You know what it is. So look, man, look. So today's episode, we're going to be talking about Drake and Future. Did they really get back together? And this is something that everybody's talking about, saying that these dudes are friends. I don't believe it. And I'm going to explain why I don't believe it. Before I get into that, you know, I got to give my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you leave a donation, links is on the screen. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. It called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. Thank y'all for that. I really appreciate it. And uh, let me know where you're from, too, man. Let me know where you're from. So, look, we're going to get into this clip, man. Let's get it. We'll be back to discuss. <laughs> All right, this comes courtesy of academics. Y'all know what it is. So, let's get it, man. Let's go. And it said, Drake and Future resolve their issues, according to Elliot Wilson. And um, it says, all I could really say is they got on the phone and whatever seemed to be the issues... They seem to come to a place of resolving that Metro not included. Where did this come from? Okay, now I think there's a I think there's a longer video of it. There's a longer video of it where is it here? Okay, here we go. Future, uh, got on the phone and they resolved their difference. Right. Wait. Future. What? Wait, is my audio, is it that clip? Is it my audio or is that that clip? Oh, we got to talk about Meg as well. Oh, my God. Yo, if you're talking about bad timing, I can't wait to talk about the Meg thing. Let's see if we can get a better audio here. Here we go. Drake and Future. Oh, it's the same thing. Uh, got on the phone and it resolved their difference. Right. Wait. What a time to be alive! A good, We're back. A good authority, Drake and Future, have got at least gotten on at least gotten on the phone and resolved their differences. That nigga lying. That shit never happened. He lying. I don't care what nobody said. Elliot Wilson is a liar. He's a liar. That definitely didn't happen. It didn't happen because, for one, what is there to hide about that? You know what I'm saying? I think he's I think he's saying that now because since uh Young Thug is out of prison, Young Thug was pushing for that. And I think that since he liked that post, since uh Young Thug liked that, I mean um Future liked the post where Young Thug said that they need to get squash the differences, he's saying that now. So if it does happen, he could it can be like, oh, Elliot Wilson had the scoop. And nobody's gonna come out and debunk that. Because it looks, they look even stupid if they come out and say, well, we never squashed no beef. Because they don't even consider themselves even having beef. When the last time I heard, I ain't see nothing where it says that they had beef. You know what I'm saying? He's lying, man. He's a liar. I'm going to tell you right now. Before even academics even say anything, I know Elliot Wilson is lying. You know what I'm saying? I know he's lying. Because I think is you heard it from somebody else. Who did you hear it from? Who's your source? Who, who's your source? If your source is so reputable, then who is it? They shouldn't be have a, you shouldn't have a problem with them uh, 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 not saying who they are. Who's your source? It's a liar, man. So I don't know what that means. Obviously, we saw a young thug. I mean, I got thug. Yeah, young yeah, thug yeah, yeah. From prison, incarcerated, put out the energy of, hey, guys, let's get it back going. Um, so I think that helped the energy when Future reposted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know they did. All I can really say is they got on the phone and whatever seemed to be the issues, they seemed to come to a place of resolving that. That that I just said that. I literally just said that. That's what he did. See what I mean? This is how I know this nigga's lying. I literally just said that. I just said that. He's only using that because he know that he can get away with it. That's it. It's crazy. Metro not included. There's no trust there still with Metro, but I do believe that Drake and Future are back on the same page. 
Um, what the reveal would be, I don't know, but probably with the music, I would think, when it's time, like, do we get a Drake party album? Does Drake come out with a single with Future? Does Future come out with Future? See, that's what I mean. So, if 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 Drake does a song, if Drake does a song with Future, right? It could be an old song, and they put, if Drake put it out, right? Let's say Drake put out an old song that they did, Ben did together, because I heard they got a whole album together. He could easily say, "See, I told you that they were cool again." Like he has no basis and no evidence of this. He's just basically going off of something that someone else told him about a phone call that he don't even know what was said. And he's going to say, well, Metro wasn't included. How do you know that? How do you know that? Did they tell you that part too? Did they say, yeah, well, he's not included. Even though he did an album with Metro, supposedly dissing Drake. Two albums dissing Drake. We don't trust you. We still don't trust you. Two. I didn't get another future album. He's crazy. I might do another yeah. album. Yeah, yeah, Drake, so another album I think it comes back out through the music, but I think it's very interesting that, you know, the guy was part of this trust movement, trust you, still don't trust you. But, you know, uh, obviously we know Drake and Future have so much history. Drake obviously was one saying he didn't really know we never really read through it, got the likes of all the taps of all the B20. So it makes sense in some capacity. But yeah, all I know is that, they, that I can say with my chest, and people may deny it, but I heard very clearly that they got on the phone at least and they're in a different place. Wow. So I, I, I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Hmm. Oh, that was interesting. So, um, I, shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. While I couldn't be on stream, right? I was trying to stay on stream, but I couldn't. I was in the streets with it. What I was actually doing, um, I was hitting up everybody in their mama. You know what I mean? Hey, nobody got longer reaches than Big Act. I wanted to hear how it went down, who facilitated it. Did Young Thug put this thing together from jail? Now, we know he's not released, but he did he put it um, together from jail. We all know about the tweet that kind of came out randomly uh, that was saying, yo, Drake, Future, Metro, we all brothers. Music ain't the same without us. We do know a lot of this dissension and maybe you could see maybe a cultural uprising against, you know, I, I kind of really treat it like the election where I felt like people were trying to vote Drake out. That kind of came from, you know, and I, I always thought Future was so instrumental in that because Metro is just a producer, no matter how great he is as a, as a producer and how powerful he does have some, some legit power there. Future is, is a voice and controls such a stronghold in hip hop that he's damn near culture. We all know Kendrick culture too, but Future culture, that's the streets. You get what I'm saying? And him being a part of an album, two albums necessarily, that came out saying, we still don't trust you. It was, it, to me, a lot of this doesn't start, and we probably don't get to the point of Drake and Kendrick squaring up if Future's not a part of this, right? Initially. Now, I don't, I, I, I will agree with that. I think that um, we still don't know what Drake and Future's issue really is. We don't really know. It could be a bunch of different things. But Drake definitely did this future. We all know he did. You know what I'm saying? We all know. And then he tried to walk it back. The same thing with the name. The same thing with Kendrick. We know about that. We know that him and Kendrick has an issue. You know what I'm saying? We know that. Because Kendrick said it on the record. They have an issue. But my thing is like with Elliot Wilson... He always coming out with these stuff with these things, and it's like he don't really know if you're telling the truth or not, because you 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 sometimes you fabricate stories. It's not the first time you did this. You know what I'm saying? It's not the first time. So I don't know. I think he just want to have a scoop, and he knows nobody's gonna come out and, and say nothing. Drake's not gonna come out and say, "Elliot, why are you lying?" Me and him ain't get on the phone. Drake's not gonna. You know what I'm saying? And Future ain't going to do that either because he's another one that doesn't do interviews and talk to people. Like, you rarely see Future doing interviews and talking to people. Uh, like maybe when he first started, but now he don't do that. So, really, I was thinking, damn, all right, let's see how it goes. Now, um, I, I, you know, one, one thing... I have been able to um, clarify, right? 
And I do want to say big shout out to my man Elliot Wilson. Um, but with all due respect, I've spoken to extremely credible sources on both sides. And Drake and Future has not been on the phone. So, not too sure who gave Elliot Wilson the authority to say this. Um, but from what I hear, that is not true. That is 100% cap. Now, I'm not going to say Elliot Wilson is um, contorting or... Nah, nigga, you got to say that's what he doing. That's you got to say that. Don't try to walk the, the dance dance on the line. No. He's contorting shit. He's making up shit, bro. I honestly think that you are much closer to Drake than Elliot Wilson is. Actually, I think you are probably 10 times closer, even though Elliot Wilson's saying that him and Drake is cool, but I think you're more closer to, to Drake than him, at least allegedly both of y'all are. But let's just say you're more closer. So if you're more closer and then you have more sources that's tied to Drake and probably future, if you're saying that that didn't happen and he's saying it did happen, but he ain't giving up his source, he's only somebody probably told Elliot Wilson that and he's re he's repeating it by, by giving himself cover by saying he can't repeat who said it because anybody can make up any lie in this game. As long as I've been doing this now that I understand how this game works, a lot of people could lie about anything and just say somebody told them. And they could say, I don't want to give up my source. But your source could be wrong. Your source could be lying. Your source could be a bunch of different things. But yet and still, we allow it, allow this to go on. I don't understand it. Misrepresenting facts, but whoever his source is, from what I've heard, whoever that source is ain't telling the right thing. So, again, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure he'll rock with his sources, but... I think I rock with mine, okay? And um, from what I've heard, that is not true. Again, only thing I call to confirm, multiple places on both sides, did Future and Drake get on the phone to resolve shit? And the answer was categorically, no, that conversation has not happened. So just letting you know that while this sounded great, and that all the media outlets have reprinted it. It's the reason why Drake hasn't commented. Future hasn't commented. Because it ain't true. Okay? So, um... That's what I'm saying. If if that actually happened, I don't think it would even have got to Elliot Wilson. I think that they would have made an announcement or somebody would have said something on Instagram. Do you know how Drake likes to talk? He would have said something. He would have said, yeah... Uh, anything. He would have put up something with him in future. He would have said something. You always be my man. You always be my boy. He would have said something. I don't know about future, but I know Drake would have said something. He would have, because that only helps him. Why would he not say something? No, that doesn't mean it won't happen in the future. It doesn't mean that I don't personally want it to happen, and I think every fan does want it to happen. But from what I'm hearing at this moment, um, that reconciliation has not um, yet completely occurred. If it's going to occur, we don't even know if it's going to occur, right? I only know the only thing I verified was there was no conversation that was had between Novadius Cash, or is that his name, or Cash Wilburn at this point? <laughs> Um, and Aubrey Drake Graham. There was no on the phone conversation at all. So hopefully they get get back together, man, because we still do need what a time to be alive, but but um it ain't it ain't happened yet, man. It did not happen, okay? I mean, do we really need what a time to be alive? I I don't know. I think that I think that a lot of these artists they they're they're good to just do their own thing or do something different with somebody else. I don't think that we need another What a Time to Be Alive. I really don't. I don't think we need another one of those. I think that Future should do what Future been doing or just do something totally different. The same thing with Drake. Do something different, bro. We don't really need to hear you doing the same stuff. Drake been doing the same music for the last... Like, even with No Face. And that video dropped 
I'm not going to react to it because I'm hearing people was getting blocked for reacting to the video. So I'm not going to react to it, but I don't know. I did a reaction to no face the audio. So I don't really need to do a reaction to the video for what? It's just a bunch of people riding around black and white trucks. You know what I mean? Like with flags, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it the video is not even a good video. It just, a, it just looks stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like a bunch of slow-mo effects, and the camera, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. do, 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 do. Looks stupid. It just look dumb. Nobody want to hear that goofy shit, man. Do something new, Drake. Nobody cares. So, I, I, wish, I wish today I was able to come in here with like, cause I have plans. I was like, all right, I'm gonna get all the details of how it happened, whatever, whatever. Maybe we, I could get some slight insight to directly what the issue is. But I, I am being told that, um, that is that is just not true. That is just not true. So, um, you know, I, I think I think Elliot probably has to go check his, his source and see what they say. But it ain't happened. It ain't happened. It ain't happened, man. All right, man. You know what it is, man. Had to play that part real quick. And, um, yeah. So. Yeah, man. It just goes to show you, man, that people would do anything in this game just so they could get some type of recognition to their name. It's like, you want to say that, you know, because I'll be honest with y'all, right? If I came on here and I said, I have a source that says Drake and Future squash their beef on the phone. Do you know how many subscribers I would get and I would get right away if I did that? If I did that, if I did some bogus, like make some AI version, say, uh, yeah, I have somebody who tapped into Drake phone. I would get my name would go just like that. I would get subscribers so fast if I put that up. I have a credible source that Drake in future has squashed the beef. But see, the thing is, when you do stuff like that, now people hold you at a different standard because now if I have this source, I'm going to have to come in here every week with something either new or something that my source told me. Drake, it's like, like Elliot Wilson ain't got no damn source. At least when it come to Drake, he didn't got no source. He just said that because he knew that nobody's going to question him on it. That's the only reason why. He only said that because he knew nobody's going to question him. And what happened? Academics comes and debunks it saying, nah, that didn't ever happen. No respect, disrespect to you, but I mean, that didn't happen, bro. Like, so now he's going to have to come back on his show and say, I don't care what nobody said. He did the same thing with the Super Bowl. I have and my, and cred, my credible sources tell me that he was offered the Super Bowl three times. And the, and the NFL came out and said, no, we did not. That's an emphatic lie. Like, just clearly said it. The NFL said, that's a lie. We never offered him the Super Bowl. And my thing is, oh, he turned it down three times. You turn, you turn the Super Bowl down three times? Get, get out of here, dog. Never believed that lie, but that came from Elliot Wilson too. Him and Maul and all them dudes making up stuff. And I want to see what Maul and them say about this whole situation. Because I want to see if Maul falls for it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all know what it is, man. Six o'clock show coming up, man. Love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for being with me, man. I really appreciate it, man. Thank y'all for being with the king. You know what I mean? Really appreciate it, man. I should have put my fur coat on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll go upstairs and grab my uh my joint. Maybe six o'clock. I'll I'll throw it on for y'all. All right, man. Y'all have yourself a good, 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 good afternoon. Love y'all, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>